this video I'm going to show you how you can make use out of your low voltage solar panels. This one is a 4.5 volt, this is a 3.2 volt, and these are solar cells rated at 0.55. And these are low current 200 milliamps and this is maybe 80 or 100. And what this circuit does, it allows you to take a small panel like this and use it to charge a 12 volt battery, a lead acid battery. Now if you use a large enough 3 to 5 volt or 6 volt solar panel that'll supply maybe 500 milliamps then you could easily charge a 12 volt lead acid battery. Now the charging will be slow but it will charge. I've tested it, it does work fine. We'll look at this crummy little schematic I drew up. You have your solar cell right here which is the SC. That's your negative going to the bottom rail. There's your battery to be charged, 12 volt battery, negative to the bottom rail. The positive from the solar cell goes to the plus on an electrolytic capacitor, a 100 microfarad. The positive from the, from the solar cell goes to the top rail, which connects to a 220 ohm resistor. That feeds into a 15 turn winding around a 5 millimeter ferrite core. And then it goes into the base of a NPN transistor. I use a D965. It's the same ones that you will find in a Fuji flash circuit. At the junction between the 220 resistor and the winding, you will have a 10 microfarad electrolytic. From the top rail down, you'll have a 45 turn wrapped around the same ferrite rod. Make sure they're wound in the same direction. After the 45 turns, that goes to the collector of the NPN, and then the emitter goes to ground or negative between the collector and the 45 turns you have a you could use a 1N4001 or you can use a high speed one like I use which is a 1N4935 diode and that goes to the battery when you connect this solar cell right here which is only four and a half to five volts the output with the way I wound this transformer will put out roughly 40 to 42 volts in full sun and the short circuit rating of the current is right around 75 to 85 milliamps. That's pretty high considering you're using this 200 milliamp panel here. Now the output of the circuit is pulsed DC and the pulses are at roughly 650 kilohertz. So, and batteries love to be pulsed when they're charged, so that should be good. And let's go take a look outside and I will show you how this works in the sun. This panel that's rated around 220 milliamps at 4.5 volts, now I'm going to connect that and I'm going to show you how the voltage comes up. It's incredible. Okay, so that's connected now. It's the 4.5 volts at 220 milliamps has flowed into the circuit. Now take a look at the voltage here. It's incredible. 35 volts. Now look at the short circuit rating. Now if I take this off here, and I put this to, let's put that to 200 milliamps. Now keep in mind, that was a 220 milliamp panel. Look at, and the sun now is getting very low in the sky. It's maybe 30 degrees off the horizon, so it's not the ideal time to test this for the maximum output. But just to show you, look at this. 60 milliamps at that high voltage. I mean, that, that's pretty incredible. Now you could also play around with the turns like if, now, if I wanted to get that 35 volts to drop, I could either use a lower solar panel, which is this one right here. So let me take this one right there and show you the difference now. At 4.5 volts, when the sun is overhead, it puts out around 40 volts, 42 volts. And with this panel right here, which is a lower voltage panel, I think it's around 3 volts, at 28.8. Now, this panel doesn't have a lot of current, maybe 8 milliamps, because these, those amorphous type like this, they don't put out as good. So the current, the current output at the high voltage is fairly low. So if I was to use this to charge a battery or to power something at a higher voltage, you want to go with a polycrystalline. And this panel right here is perfect. I took two of these solar verter panels and I made it into a book. So it closes up and you just connect it together. Now this little solar cell here is 0.55 volts. So let me just try that one, show you how it boosts that one up. 
and there's not a lot of current on this one. Now I have just that little tiny single solar cell. All right, and you can look at the output from 0.55 going through the circuit. 6.5 volts. Let's just take a look at the current. It's going to be very low because the sun is low down and it's a small solar cell. Yeah, it's only around 4.5 milliamps. But it's still pretty remarkable considering you're taking 0.55 and you're boosting it to 6.5 at 5 milliamps. So if you use a larger one, you get more current out on the high end. I think it's an ideal circuit for charging batteries with some scrap solar cells laying around.